Hey guys, and welcome to the Bike View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're going to be reacting to uh, Julian Nagelsmann's um, press conference. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the press conference reaction. As you can see, we're going old days. Um, no light. I didn't bring my light with me, so I was going to record it um, at my parents' but parents' house, but I totally forgot my light, and um, I need to get the video up. So with that said. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. If you're going to enjoy, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, and yeah, man, let's get into this. So, Julian Augustman has obviously been speaking about the Leipzig game and the various other uh, things to do with Bayern. And we're just gonna um, uh, tell you guys and then react to it. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go. So, um, first things first, Julian Augustman on Friday's game uh, he said it's an important game. Leipzig is one of our main competitors. Uh, they've been very uh, good since uh, Marco Rose took over. Um, the game uh, isn't decisive, decisive, but it would be good uh, to have a nine point lead. Uh, if we lose, the, the lead um, won't, won't be uh, that big anymore, which I agree with. Um, and it, you know, the manager definitely has um, done good since he's taken over. I believe, wasn't he the Dortmund manager for a while, or am I thinking of somebody else? Um, but yeah, he, he's done he's done pretty well with Leipzig. The only bad thing for him um, is he probably is going to lose one of his main players very, very soon in uh, Christopher Nkunku, which he's not actually available for this game, I don't believe. Um, so that's, that's a plus for Bayern, and I don't believe their goalkeeper's um, going to be available either. So uh, again, another plus. Uh, then he also said uh, about the personnel, he said, uh, except the long-term injuries, things are looking good. Lim Gretzka uh, had a minor dis uh, dis discomfort, uh, again, um, but uh, nothing, um, but as not something that will rule him out of the game. Kingsley Coleman and Matthias De Ligt uh, are also looking very good. Um, on the goalkeeper situation, he said, um, uh, basically the higher ups are always working um, on ways to strengthen the squad. Uh, and that's the case uh, now too. Uh, I'm always relaxed when it comes to transfers. And obviously this was before Jan Summer completed the deal. Um, but yeah, you know, to be honest, a lot of Bayern fans weren't massively happy with Brazo uh, and um, what he was doing. Um, but the last two transfer window um, openings, he's, he's absolutely pulled his socks off and pulled some good deals out of thin air. So, um, you know, big up to him and hopefully it remains, you know what I mean? Um, next thing uh, on the potential uh, Jan Summer transfer, he said, um, it's not always just two parties that need to be satisfied. We need, uh, we want a decision in whether, um, in whatever direction. We want uh, to have a clear um, claim in that in this position um, and then on whether he had contact with Summer he said I didn't uh, have any contact with him so he hasn't spoke to Jan Summer um, so yeah, there's that uh, then he spoke about Thomas Muller um, and yeah it's free okay. uh, and um, yeah he spoke about Thomas Muller he said Thomas uh, had an injury now he had a good uh, preparation like everybody else he is um, he is an extremely important player for me. Uh, we are in exchange. I know he's world class in many positions. Thomas Muller, Thomas Muller knows uh, competition is part of the game. He's very, he's a very, he's still a very vital part of the squad. Uh, and then on Ibrahimovic, obviously he's a young lad, um, not Zlatan, um, the young lad. Um, obviously, I believe he signed a brand new deal. Uh, looked very good in friendly, um, and I believe he signed a brand new deal with Bayern. So very, very exciting to see what that lad's going to do in a Bayern shirt um, when he gets buffed up to the main squad. Um, he says uh, his development uh, he's developed very well. Uh, and he was outstanding, especially in the test match, the friendly, obviously. Uh, I'm glad he signed the new contract. He's a very down-to-earth player. Uh, he did very well in the training camp uh, and against uh, Salzburg. He's a good player who um, will make his way um, to the top, basically. Um, all right, he says, um, um, seven is, 
aware of his role. We know that if we get a number two, we can rely on Yorick uh, when we need him. It's important he's there. If uh, we get a number one, we know he'll accept that role. He can uh, live uh, with both situations because he's an intelligent and a good and has good character. So basically, he's not going to throw his toys out the pram. And um, the fact that we've got Summer, you know what I mean? Um, he knows that he's the number two, number two choice, um, and he accepts, you know, the situation that if he was going to be the number one, or if he's now going to obviously be the number two. Um, then on Mazzari said, I haven't heard any anything new from uh, the doctor. Uh, we don't want to uh, take any risks. Health comes first. Uh, the peak of the inflammation, I can't say this word, inflammation, I believe, is already uh, behind. I haven't heard any new uh, prognosis. Uh, again, 110%. Um, health comes first, you know, family comes first, all of that. Um, so yeah, hopefully Mazzari is doing well. Um, he was asked, are you already thinking about PSG? He said, uh, we already discussed that. Uh, we have a big task ahead of us um, in Paris. In general, it will be a 50-50 tie where the form of the day will decide. Uh, we have uh, to expand our position in the Bundesliga uh, to have a clear head uh, for the PSG games, um, which 100%, um, and obviously we'll go on to those and all of that. And then the last thing he said uh, on, he was talking about the uh, Ellis, uh, on the 11 against Leipzig, he said six of our 11 players have already been decided. Uh, I need a bit more uh, time for the other positions. Uh, the 11 versus 11 was very good today uh, and didn't uh, make any decisions any easier. Chupa Moting is on a very good run and there's no reason uh, for him not to start uh, and 100% he has to start the form that that man is in at this moment in time is crazy but yeah that's gonna be it for the video hope you guys are all doing well we went a little bit old school there we're doing it in the car and not having the light and you know hands free and all of that so hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you have please do smash the thumbs up hit the subscribe button thank you for the constant support i'm gonna have another video coming for you guys um very 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 soon um because um I need to do the preview for the game and then remember tonight we will be having a live stream. So yeah, till then though, thank you and I'll see you on the next one. Mia Samia. Peace out guys.